Hi, I am Ritesh Kolte. I am from Stanford University. Let me describe to you what my poster is about. Uh, this is joint work with my advisor Ifor Osgur and Haim Permuter. So, this is the semi-deterministic relay channel that has been considered in literature already. The capacity of this is characterized. By semi-deterministic, I mean that the source to relay link is a deterministic function of the source transmission and the relay transmission. The capacity for this was characterized using the scheme partial decode and forward and this goes way back to 1982. The main idea of the scheme is that the message the source wants to communicate is divided into two components. One component is decoded by the relay. It's a block Markov scheme. So once the relay decodes it, in the next block it transmits a code word corresponding to its decoded message and the encoder transmits a new code word conditioned on that for cooperation. Now consider this next simple extension. Here I have added a state in the channel. Think of it as the channel gain between the source and the destination. The source and the destination in practice can typically learn it by some pilot symbols. But this information need not be available at the relay. In this case, can we still achieve the capacity? Let's try to make partial decode and forward work. If the relay knew the state, then they could just treat the state as a time sharing sequence and partial decode forward would carry over and we can prove that it achieves capacity. But in the absence of the state, it's no longer possible. So how do we achieve capacity? We come up with a new scheme that we call cooperative bin forward. So the main idea of the scheme is that in this situation, the relay does not decode, does not attempt to decode any part of the message. It simply takes its received signal and bins it and transmits the bin index in the next block. And the source conditions its transmission on the relay's transmission for cooperation. So because the relay does not know the state, it is not able to decode part of the message. However, after it forwards this information, the destination knows the state and it can resolve the bin in, resolve the partial message from the bin index. So to summarize, the relay does not know the state information, so it can only transmit the bin index, but the destination knows the state information, so it can resolve the partial message given the bin index. And uh, that is the main idea of the scheme. And uh, there are a number of interesting insights and remarks that we can come up from uh, up from the scheme. And uh, just to mention a few extensions, few other setups that can be handled using the same idea. Uh, we have the semi-deterministic relay without delay channel in which the transmission of the in which the received signal of the relay can um, the relay can can causally uh, depend on the crypt signal. So basically this is not zi minus one anymore, this is zi. In this case we can combine this idea with instantaneous relaying and this is the capacity in that case. And this is another setup which uh, models the situation when two transmitters aim to communicate to the destination. Each of them has their own share of state information. It need not be independent and they overhear each other. And uh, the goal again is in spite of the disjoint state information, can they still make use of this overhead information to get cooperative benefits? And we can use the same idea to get the capacity region in this case too. And uh, this work will be published soon in the IEEE Transactions on Information Theory. The title of the paper is Cooperative Binning for Semi-Deterministic Channels. So thank you for listening.